Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, you will learn on how to use Microsoft Bookings for interview scheduling. So before you can access the Bookings feature on Microsoft 365, is you have to make sure that you have subscribed to any of their plans. So first thing that you should do is you have to open any of your web browser and then next using the search bar is you just have to type out www.office.com and then you'd be redirected to this page and then log in or create your account now you just have to click on this icon at the top left hand corner of your screen and then you'd be able to see this bookings option so you just have to click on it and another tab will open now what you're going to do here is you just have to click on this create booking page option so just click on it then above you'd be able to see here all of your personal bookings so what you're going to do next is you have to create or give your booking page a name so for example i'm going to name this booking page as initial interview and you can also add a logo if you want to and then for the business type i'm just going to choose the other Okay, and then for the business hours, you can change this one if you want to. And then just have to click on the next. Now, what you're going to do next is you have to invite your staff. So invite a few people to get started. You can always make changes. Invite external users or configure their availability later. So I'm going to select all company and then just click on next. Here is you just have to set up a service. Okay, now just have to click on next and then here you can choose who can book an appointments. So I'm just going to go with the people in my organization. Okay, and then you can go with no self-service as well and for anyone. Now just have to click on create and then just have to wait for a couple of seconds until the setting up of your booking page is finished. Now you just have to click on the get started option. And then once we're here, the first thing that we should do is we have to go to the booking page section because we have to make a changes right here. So first is the business page access control. So you just have to click on this arrow and make sure to click on the disable direct search engine indexing of blocking page. Okay, so this is very important. So nobody could be able to search this booking page online. Okay, and then if you want to customize other things over here, so you can do that. Now, next is we have to go to the staff section. But before that, do not forget to save your changes. So just click on the save button, this one at the top left of your screen. And then let's go to the staff section. So what you're going to do here is you have to assign your staff. So for example, you just added a new staff. So some things that I can customize as well at this stance when someone is added as a team member, so they can be able to see what's going on in the booking calendar. But there could be situations where you want the HR team to be managing this booking calendar and you don't want your staff to be able to get in there and see what's going on. So you can do that very easily. We can calm down and change change this team member to a guest instead so we can assign a guest to a service but they're not going to be able to get into the bookings calendar and see everything that's going on so additionally we want to make sure that the events on the office calendar affect the availability and that means is that the person will only be available if they're free on their office calendar now that means that each of you users who are involved in this need to keep their outlook calendar up to date in order for this to work so if you're an environment where your user don't keep their outlook calendar out of date that probably create lots of problems for you of your scheduling so now let's proceed to the next one let's go to the services section so when you go to the services section we can see our services overview over here and when you go to the service details and if you would like to make some edit of your services so you can just click on the edit service option okay so just click on this edit service over here so when you do that first is we have to go to the basic details so we have here the 30 minutes meeting and then you can grab some time with for us for an appointment so if you would like to you know type out your notes over here so you can do that and then for the location and then if you want to you know change the duration then you can do that as well you can change the days the hour and the minutes so if you would like to add a buffer time 
So the purpose of developer time is to make your client or someone to be available before the said or the scheduled interview. Okay, and then if you would like to save this one, so you just have to click your save changes. Now let's go to the availability options. So right here, you can change the scheduling policy. So let's start with the time increments. So I am sure that 30 minutes will be enough. And, and for the minimum lead time, so you can change this one as well. And for the maximum lead time. So see, for example, you would like this one to last for 30 days. So you can just type it out right here, 30 days. And then for the availability, so in general, a service can be booked when it's staff or free. So if you wish to customize this further, you can do so below. So here, you can customize the availability of your staff. So see, for example, from Monday to Friday only, and then the business hours should be 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then the not bookable days are Saturdays and Sundays. And if you would like to set different availability for a date range, so you can do that as well. Then once you finalize everything right here, you can now go ahead and assign staff. So you have to assign staff to the service. Now let's go to the custom fields right here for the customer information. If you would like to collect or you want to require them to type other customer email, then you can toggle the switch on for this one. And as well as for the phone number, customer address, and customer notes. And for the customer information, you have to select the notify the business via email when a booking is created or changed. And then for the send a meeting invite to the customer. Then if you would like to add additional information and links that your customer will be able to see it over here. So you would like to type it over here. And then next is you just have to save your changes okay and then once you finalize everything is yes, you just have to go back over here okay and then what you're going to do next is to share this booking page so to do that is you just have to click on the share icon over here and then you can change the share booking page um privacy so you just have to click on this one so you just have to select available to anyone or available to people on your organization only or no soft service or available to people on your organization i'm going to select that one and then you can share this link via email or you can copy the link for this one or you can simply embed the code so i think the best one to choose is to share this one via email okay so when you click on the email so right here you just have to type out the names of the people that you want to have the access of this booking page okay so you have to make sure that you have selected all of the correct staff or the people that you want to access this booking page so that's it for this video if you think this video helped to solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye